Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for February 13th, read by Sarah M. from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. AA Thoughts for the Day Carry the Message Taking advantage of technological advances, AA members with computers can participate in meetings online, sharing with fellow alcoholics across the country or around the world. Fundamentally, though, the difference between an electronic meeting and the home group around the corner is only one of format. In any meeting, anywhere, AA share experience, strength, and hope with each other in order to stay sober and help other alcoholics. Modem to modem, or face to face, AA speak the language of the heart in all its power and simplicity. Alcoholics Anonymous, forward to the fourth edition, page 24. Thought to consider. We in AA don't carry the alcoholic. We carry the message. AA acronyms. Heart. Healing, enjoying, and recovering together. Just for today, rewards from He Only Lived to Drink. The rewards of sobriety are bountiful and as progressive as the disease they counteract. Certainly among these rewards for me are release from the prison of uniqueness and the realization that participation in the AA way of life is a blessing and privilege beyond estimate. A blessing to live a life free from the pain and degradation of drinking and filled with the joy of useful sober living and a privilege to grow in sobriety one day at a time and bring the message of hope as it was brought to me. 4th edition, Alcoholics Anonymous, page 451. Daily Reflections We Can't Think Our Way Sober To the intellectually self-sufficient man or woman, many AAs can say, Yes, we were like you, far too smart for our own good. Secretly, we felt we could float above the rest of the folks on our brain power alone. As Bill sees it, page 60. Even the most brilliant mind is no defense against the disease of alcoholism. I can't think my way sober. I try to remember that intelligence is a God-given attribute that I may use, a joy like having a talent for dancing or drawing or carpentry. It does not make me better than anyone else, and it is not a particularly reliable tool for recovery, for it is a power greater than myself who will restore me to sanity, not a high IQ or a college degree. As Bill sees it, daily acceptance. Too much of my life has been spent dwelling upon the faults of others. This is a most subtle and perverse form of self-satisfaction, which permits us to remain comfortably unaware of our own defects. Too often, we are heard to say, if it weren't for him or her, how happy I'd be. That's from a letter, 1966. Our very first problem is to accept our present circumstances as they are, ourselves as we are, and the people about us as they are. This is to adopt a realistic humility, without which no genuine advance can even begin. Again and again, we shall need to return to that unflattering point of departure. This is an exercise in acceptance that we can profitably practice every day of our lives provided we strenuously avoid turning these realistic surveys of the facts of life into unrealistic alibis for apathy or defeatism, they can be the sure foundation upon which increased emotional health and therefore spiritual progress can be built. Grapevine, March, 1962 Big Book Quote There is a principle which is a bar against all information, which is proof against all arguments, and which cannot fail to keep a man in everlasting ignorance. That principle 
is contempt prior to investigation. Alcoholics Anonymous, 4th edition, Appendices 2, Spiritual Experience, page 568. 24 hours a day, AA thought for the day. Sometimes we can't help thinking, why can't we ever drink again? We know it's because we're alcoholics, but why did we have to get that way? The answer is that at some time in our drinking careers, we passed what is called our tolerance point. When we pass this point, we pass from a condition in which we could tolerate alcohol to a condition in which we could not tolerate it at all. After that, if we took one drink, we would sooner or later end up drunk. When I think of liquor now, do I think of it as something that I can never tolerate again? Meditation for the day. In a race, it is when the goal is in sight that heart and nerves and muscles and courage are strained almost to the breaking point. So with us. The goal of the spiritual life is in sight. All we need is the final effort. The saddest records are made by people who ran well with brave, stout hearts until the sight of the goal and then some weakness or self-indulgence held them back. They never knew how near the goal they were or how near they were to victory. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may press on until the goal is reached. I pray that I may not give up in the final stretch. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. I'm Sarah, and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952, 1957, 1967, 1973, 1975, 1976, 1980, 1981, 1984, 1985, 1988, 1990, or 2001.